Hello, all you beautiful people. It's Darren and welcome to another video. Uh, this time, as the line title states, I'll be giving my review of Haunted Mansion. I just saw it yesterday, but I completely forgot to make a video for it, so it's it's been a bit, so I apologize. Anyway, um, the spoiler-free part, and it says in the title, then the spoilers first. Um, uh, overall, the movie was a 7-10 for me. It had some funny moments. Um, all right, give me one second. So, the, oh, here we go, sorry. So, the movie itself gave me a 7 out of 10, um, and, and again, like I said, it had, like, funny parts and some, some emotional parts in it, um, and, uh, after seeing it, it did feel like it was more based upon the rides than itself. Uh, I don't, I don't know about the lore, ride-wise, because I don't know. Um, I don't know the lore as well. I've never been a fan of going to the haunted mansion because I'm not uh, one of those dark ride people. Um, but anyway, so I saw it. I thought it was funny. It's more a kids movie, even though it's really like, uh, P like PG. I think it is PG PG thirteen. Um, but I mean, would I would I go see it again? Eh, that's iffy, because um, I'm not really sure. It's like there's some movies to see again and some movies not. This one, I'm not too sure of. Uh, I might consider that this one. This one for me, in my own opinion, was a one and done movie. Is what it feels like. Maybe if I was, or maybe there was something else out and I wanted to see something, possibly this. But I, um, all in all, I, 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 I'd consider this a one and done movie. So, um, yeah. But that's that's my spoiler. Sp uh, <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> <Not> spoiler. <laughs> I got that one wrong. Uh, it's my spoiler-free section. So, spoiler kind of, spoilers kind of get into what's going on in the movie. Um, you know, there is some action stuff, but it's not to the extent of... Um, uh, what is it? It's not to the extent of being able to talk specifically, because I know people probably still want to watch it. So... Uh, the, my, my summary is 7 out of 10, had funny moments, more of a kid's movie. It's not really that scary, but it does have a few jump outs. And there are a lot of colorful casts, as you see in the picture. Um, and they do play some nice parts. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'd consider this a one and done in my one and done viewing movie, for my opinion. So, but I'm going to go ahead and put up my... Spoiler sign, and let me get out of this. Out of this. So I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to close your eyes, turn off the video, do whatever. Um, and then we'll talk about the inside of the movie. So uh, spoiler in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one so the movie uh of course as you saw has those celebrities but it it um gosh it, i uh so there was a there was a a first haunted mansion way back in 2003 and if i can find it uh sorry i'm gonna try to Look for the Haunted Mansion, the 2003, so you have an idea. Let's see. Haunted Mansion. Nope, that's not what I want. Uh, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, I am going to get it. And then we're going to show the screen. 
Okay. So this is the Haunted Mansion from 2003. As it says, this starred Eddie Murphy and some others. Um, and this was the first iteration of the Haunted Mansion. Now, I, I, again, I don't know lore. I don't know what the the rides, uh, not the making of the ride, but the story of the ride, right? What you go through as the ride progresses. And uh, so I don't, I don't really know what the lore is behind because the first Haunted Mansion was about, and it's been 20 years, so spoilers. In the first one, it was about the butler who killed the, the wife um, and the husband or whatever was trying to do something and the 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 yeah the butler was the one who, who did it at the end but they freed all the souls and they whatever um and then they rode off in the sunset with the the talk uh singing quartet statues um but this one's a little different this one is based on the ride itself i don't know how much of the first one was um, and they have a, I think it's like one or two of the seats are, um, what is it? What do they call them? Omni riders or something like that, that are, they're based on the look of it. So you have these, you have this movie that starts out with a, what was it? There's a mother and son who, who buy this house because I guess she's moving away from New York or whatever. And, you know, they, they get this house that looks creepy on the outside and the son is just freaked out of his mind and they you know they go and they try to get accommodated and stuff but it's not until a suit of armor moves that this whole story begins and it just falls a whole lot of stuff so uh i kind of did like some of the funny parts um there was some times where it felt a bit disc a bit disconjointed because I, I don't know. It was, it was something. And, uh, and while it was nice having like Owen Wilson in it, he plays a good, he plays a, a, he plays a guy who seems to be a priest, but he's, uh, but later on he pretends he's just pretending he's sort of a con guy and he kind of writes some wrongs a bit. In the sense of that he he's not a priest anymore, but he uh, donates some stuff to uh, to the parish in the area. Um, the uh, the house itself, though, during some periods of time when they're, they're trying to go through whatever, it does it does kind of pertain to how to to be like in the ride. Like the there's one point where you'll see like the the moving chandelier and all that stuff, and and then the ending which uh, has the whole uh the ending that has that whole party that's in the the dining room or the eat you know where they sit down to eat and they you know they just have a good time and it's and it is like that uh so um i'm trying to think i did like the the gentleman uh I can't remember his name, but the gentleman who was the main character, uh, sort of the main character in the movie, because I think it's, you know, it starts out with him, and then it just sort of has these other characters joining in, like Daniel DeVito's, Owen Wilson's, Tiffany Haddish, all this stuff. Um, the one thing I was a little put off was having Jamie Lee Curtis as uh, Madame Leota. I did like, I did like the first Madame Leota, which was what was her name? Jennifer something from uh, from the um, what was it? It was I know she's been a Family Guy. She played the the mistress of Chucky, uh, but I'm trying to figure out her name. Uh, I I'll have to look at it later. But uh, I I enjoyed her as Madame Belotus. The Jamie Lee Curtis was her sort of like mm, okay. Um, the uh, set of the house was pretty nice. 
uh, let's see. But the odd thing, the difference that makes for this one against the last one is that instead of the spirits deciding to leave, they decide to stay. So you have, you know, a bad guy, you know, who later found out the movie's name is, his name is Crump, who's actually played by Jared Leto, but he doesn't, Jared Leto only gets shown in the, uh, painting frames of the character it's you know it's it's it, it, you don't get to see him you, you probably play he probably is cgi and all that stuff for the the main the bad guy character but he doesn't really show his human face um so that was uh interesting yes but it was it was pretty good uh yeah i know it's a lot of me jumping around but it it's been a day, so I'm trying to remember correctly what happened. Um, I do know that there are times where the main character guy it talks about the story of his wife and how she died and all that stuff, and how he's been chasing the get after. And and there's sort of the similarity between him and the owner of the house or the first owner of the house. And um, and then you have Tiffany Tiffany Haddish's character who talks about what happened to her and how she got into doing what she did. Uh, Danny DeVito's character is a a last guy, uh, what do you call him, scientist? Or a uh, professor who's sort of a scientist who kind of studies the old house and hauntings and stuff. He's sort of a, a last minute guy. And then you have the mom and son who are the ones who are trying to get to this house to start a new life away from New York. And it didn't start out very well. Um, and there's laughs along the way. There's uh, trying to, uh, there's trying to get to the story. The what, why, what is ever is going on in this house? Why it's going on? Who's who's the big bad guy in charge? Um, after a bit, it can seem a bit confusing, but uh, it wasn't. It wasn't as far grab reaching as a you know. It was funny. Uh, there were some nice moments, but it didn't feel any more than just like a, a one-time movie. Uh, or or what is it? Uh, uh, one that, uh, go, like the Dollar Theater, where you go to the Dollar Theater and uh, and see those movies. Like, I, don't, I don't think there's any Dollar Theaters out very much anymore, to be honest with you, but such is life. But anyway, uh, any of the point, you know they they win against the bad guy obviously, and they the souls decide to stay. They have a party at the end. You know the end is a good time. Nobody really dies in essence except the bad guy. So if you want to go see it, go and see it. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but then again, I don't want to tell anyone they can't go see it either because it's just kind of dumb. If if you are unsure about seeing it, you know want to save your money just. Do that. Just save your money. Wait until later. Because uh, usually, you know, early showings are cheaper. Uh, so those are always good to look out for. Uh, or or what have you. So, but but again, my 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 rating was seven out of ten. For me, it was a one and done movie. And that's pretty much it. I had I had a few laughs. Uh, it was kind of nice, but at certain points, it's just like, oh, okay, this, whatever. This needs to go forward. This needs to go here, there. And, uh, yeah. So, again, like I said, I saw it yesterday, but I forgot to make a movie. Uh, not a movie. <laughs> not making a movie. Uh, a video about it. I know this is long and probably the worst rating review of a movie you're going to get. So, but... I still thank you for coming and watching. I still thank you for coming in here in my review, even though it might be as boring as heck regardless. And I hope you'll like and subscribe for more to see to see what else comes down the road. Because I I think after the Barbie uh, Sound of Freedom, Barbie Oppenheimer, and this one, it might be a while before we get any movies. And I don't know if I'll go see the TMT one. Um, I'm going to try and do other videos but i also have to get on doing a consistent one 
So thank you guys. Thank all of who watch. Please like and subscribe. Give a follow. And I hope you guys ha have a wonderful rest of your weekend. See y'all next time.